The state of Olancho is Honduras's largest and most biodiverse region, home to a variety of forest ecosystems, from dense cloud forests to the largest pine forest in the Western Hemisphere. The future of Olancho's natural resources is threatened by illegal commercial logging. Led by Father Andreas Tamayo, residents are demanding a moratorium on all logging and a sustainable forest policy. The logging industry has to be regulated. It cannot be uncontrolled. Then the logging can provide economic opportunities for the people. But with this method of logging, the people are left with absolutely nothing because the loggers don't plant any trees. They simply cut them down. Honduran law permits the annual extraction of 1.2 million cubic meters of lumber. But in reality, the true volume is closer to 60 times the legal limit. The logging trucks run day and night, hauling timber for the powerful and politically connected Honduran lumber industry. The destruction of one third of the nation's forests means that water tables drop and natural springs dry up, forcing many families to move in search of water. We want the Olancho to be as it was before, with forests and not only dust. We wish we didn't have to walk so far to find water, and we protest for our children because we want a better life for them. Father Tamayo leads the environmental movement of Olancho, or Mao. One of the great things about Tamayo is that he had the courage to organize and to carry forth this campaign. And in that, he's very much the way Mandela was in South Africa for many, many years. The people don't want to be martyrs. The logging trucks, the water shortages, the loss of resources. They want a solution to these problems. As an advocate for sustainable development, Father Tamayo felt compelled to organize a national march for life. 30,000 protesters descended on the nation's capital in Tegucigalpa, demanding an end to the rampant deforestation. <laughs> If there is no water, there is no life. So we have to march to defend our livelihood. If there's another march, I'll walk with him again. This civic action received international attention. Tamayo was able to broker an agreement for logging concessions with President Maduro. He succeeded in making environmental justice a national issue in Honduras. A reported $40,000 bounty on Father Tamayo's head illustrates the serious danger of his work and the great personal risk he faces. The leaders of this corrupt society feel very threatened by Padre Tamayo. And they have to get used to the fact that they just can't kill people who challenge the system. There have been attempts on my life, and I know no one is immune to death. But it's one thing to die in an ordinary way, and it is another thing altogether to die for a just cause. As the country's leading environmentalist, Father Tamayo is now reaching beyond Olancho to inspire all Hondurans who have been politically marginalized. He's inspired them to stand up for their lives and for the forests that sustain them. A pesar de todos, hermano, de todo lo sufrido, invito al pueblo a que sigamos luchando con el método de la paz. Si sembramos justicia, cosecharemos justicia. Si sembramos la paz, viviremos en paz. For outstanding environmental achievement in South and Central America, the 2005 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Padre Andreas Tamayo. Salama Honduras.